So let's talk about what's coming up on my channel for the month of June 2022. Big things, entertainment rankings and reviews. So greetings my fellow YouTubers and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name's Dual, better known to you as the Big D. And this time around I bring to you my channel schedule for this month, June 2022. Sorry I took so long. Uh, I've just been binge watching tons of stuff and almost lost track. But I've got it, the schedule fixed up. This is kind of mostly going to have mostly re-reviews, but some brand new one. And some brand new reviews. Now before I go into this, let me give my awards out for the gold, silver, and bronze big D's. Now this wasn't really great though, but but considering this is by considering I'm gonna be generous, the gold big D goes to the most few view, but unfortunately it's going to be a tie. In other words, I'm gonna call it a draw instead. With 23 views each. Are the Spider-Man re-review and Firestar review? Firestar 1984 is what I mean. The Silver Big D goes to the second most viewed video, which unfortunately also ends up a tie. But I'm going to give it to the fastest, the video that made it to 21 views faster, and that was and that was Top Gun Maverick, which made it in two days. Well, two to three days since I did my review of it. So congrats to that. And the bronze. And, of course, the Arab one was Spider-Man 3. So I'm getting the Top Gun Maverick because it made it, it really blazed up in views a little faster than that. And the Bronze Big D goes to the second, to, to the third most viewed video. And with 20 views is the Firestar 2022 review. Wow, I'm surprised a lot of people watch it con this considering, well, you know... But now it's sad, and unfortunately I failed to get something good and entertaining this month. But this month, that's going to, last month, but next month, that's going to change. So now let's get into our schedule. Now tomorrow, on the 2nd, I'll be doing separate reviews of the two films. A couple of the films I recently watched on Peacock after they had been in theater, theater say earlier this year. Those will be the 355 and Marry Me. They'll build, they'll both be spoiler free reviews. Okay. Then on the sixth no not sixth, I'm sorry. On the fourth I'll be doing my latest Saturday morning TV log and it'll be Star Wars Droids, the Adventures of R2 D2 and C3 PO from nineteen eighty five. Yes. And then on the 6th will be a review of Con Air from 1997, which will be among one of the few anniversary reviews. Then on the 7th will be a spoiler-free review of the recent Michael Bay film, Ambulance. On the, and then from the 8th to the 10th, I will do re-reviews of the new Star Wars trilogy, starting with The Force Awakens, since even though that video did get a lot of... Good, a lot of good views originally, but I'm going to do a re-review just for the heck, just for the 40, just since it's been 45, since I'm celebrating 45 years of Star Wars, okay? Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker will follow. Let's see. Then after, now, listen, now, while I can't guarantee you a review... I can't guarantee you no Jurassic Park or World reviews. Now, if I do see Jurassic World Dominion, I'll review that. But you'll have to wait until next year before I do the others. Because I want to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park next year, okay? So I humbly apologize for that. Because on the 11th, I am going to review one of Steven Spielberg's greats, E.T., the Extraterrestrial, which will be celebrating its 40th anniversary. And that... Isn't that going to be fun? Yeah. And then on the same day, I'll be doing my next Saturday morning TV log, which will be on Hanna-Barbera's The Roman Holidays. Then on the 12th, I'll be doing a review of Predator, the original classic, which is celebrating 35 years. Let's see. Then on the 13th, I will have the Wide World of Game Shows, where I'll be talking about Chain Reaction. Let me see. Then on the 14th through the 17th, in order to promote 
the release of Lightyear, I'll be re-reviewing all four Toy Story films. Now, of course, Lightyear's different, though, even though it's the character we know and love from the Toy Story franchise, but this is just the actual character, but not as a toy, you know. I am looking forward to that. You will get a spoiler-free review of Lightyear when it comes up, okay? Let's see. Then... Now, on the 18th will be the next Saturday morning TV log, and it'll be on Popeye and Son from 1987. I figure I'd do this for Father's Day early. On the 19th will be a re-review of Batman Returns. I'm, review I'm re-reviewing this since the original review didn't do too well, considering the first Batman movie which from 1989, which I decided not to re-review... And I, I'm not re reviewing Batman Forever yet either, even though that's still good. And I'm definitely not re reviewing Batman and Robin either, even though that's celebrating its 25th anniversary this month as well. But I'm not re reviewing that. Sorry. Batman Returns is all I'm going to focus on. Thank you very much. Now, I know there are other films that have anniversaries coming out this month, but I'm afraid I couldn't squeeze them all in. One of them is the original Poltergeist, but it's been some time since I last saw, saw that, so I do apologize for not including that when Spooktacular October rolls around. Mind you, I will review it, okay? Same thing with Exorcist 2, The Heretic. I'll review that in, in October as well, all right? Okay, that about covers it. Back to the schedule. Then on the 21st will be a review of Disney's Lilo and Stitch for its 20th anniversary. Then on the 22nd will be another Disney movie review and it'll be Disney and Pixar's Brave, which will be turning 10. Believe me, I got Disney flicks galore, almost. <laughs> And then on the 23rd will be the next Wide World of Game Shows episode and will be on the underrated 1983 game show known as Go, which is factual in a way like Chain Reaction, considering it was from the same person who gave us that game, Bob Stewart. Then on the 24th, even though I did um, a back-to-back -back review of this in its sequel, one of my first videos, but I decided to celebrate... It's 45th anniversary. I'm going to do a solo re-review of Disney's anime classic, The Rescuers. Then on the 25th will be my next Saturday morning TV log. And it'll be on the Amazing Adventure series, King Arthur and the Knights of Justice. And then I will be doing a review of John Carpenter's The Thing. Now, I'm, I'm probably going to get to go see Elvis when it comes out. And if I do, I'll do a spoiler-free review of that. You, and i got another spoiler-free review coming up later on this week, and I'll be Hollywood Stargirl. And before you say it, no, I'm not re-reviewing Stargirl. That review already, that spoiler-free review of that film did so well, I'm not doing a re-review of it. Sorry. All right, enough said. Yeah, I'm going to do John Carpenter's The Thing on the 25th for its anniversary. I decided not to do it for Spooktacular October. I might do the prequel later on, maybe, for Spooktacular October. Just stay tuned. And then... And then on the 27th, I'll be celebrating the 25th anniversary of Disney's animated feature Hercules. On that same day, and going into the 29th, I'll be reviewing Despicable Me... One to three and Minions in order to promote the release of Minions The Rise of Gru, which will be only July 1st. And that's about it. That's all I'm going to be doing. So now you know what's coming up on my channel this month. I do hope you'll be ready for what's to come. I know I am. So anyway, let me know what you think of this and what and you can tell me what you're looking forward to seeing, whatever. Just tell me in the comment section below. If you like this video, click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and be a part of the Big D Nation. And stay tuned for the 355 spoiler free review coming up tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and if you like this, consider checking out these reviews that I've done that after we took the big ones. The upper left hand corner, I've decided to give it the Spider Man re review. 
that in the upper right hand corner is the Top Gun Maverick review, and the bottom left hand corner will be I decided to heck with the two, two, well with the bronze one. I'm giving the old other gold winner, and that'll be the original Firestarter from 1984. And the bottom right hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe if you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc. Then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya.